Hello and welcome. This is Nandini Hirani, and you are watching its tomorrow news. Strong quake hits Indonesia, sea risk of tsunami, KwaZulu Natal on high alert with another storm warning, three storms to hit Spain. A powerful earthquake has hit off the Indonesian coast in the Maluka Sea, creating the risk of tsunami in nearby areas. The US Geological Survey reported that the magnitude of 7.1 earthquake which struck early on Friday morning was centered in the sea about 140 kilometers northwest of Ternate in North Maluku province. Indonesia's Meteorology, Climate and Geophysics Agency issued a tsunami warning urging people to stay away from the coastline. The earthquake awakened residents in some cities in North Silver Sea and North Maluku provinces causing some to run out in panic to higher places. A senior official who put the earthquake's depth at 73 km said the warning was specially issued for the eastern part of North Silver Sea province. Compass TV also reported that government officials in North Maluku prepared for a possible evacuation of residents. Some patients at a hospital in North Silver Sea, capital of Manado were evacuated from their rooms. There were no immediate reports of injury or damage, but the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said hazardous tsunami waves were possible within 300 km of the epicenter. It reported no tsunami risk for more distant areas. The quake was very strong and lasted for a while. South Africa's Durban KwaZulu Natal residents were on high alert following yet another storm warning was for Thursday and Friday. According to South African Weather Services, severe thunderstorms are forecast for the southern KZN area, moving in an easterly direction. South African Weather Service said morning satellite images showed that thunderstorms have been visible over parts of western KZN. Flooding of settlements, both formal and informal, as well as the closure of low-lying bridges is possible. The public is urged to be cautious as the inclement weather may result in fast-flowing streams and deep water. The storms which will be accompanied by the lighting, hail and strong winds may pose a danger to lives, vehicles and structures. Earlier this week, heavy rains battered parts of province with scores being left homeless. In New Hanover, just outside Petrimbertsburg, residents were left reeling after a tornado ripped through the area. Two people were killed while 18 more were injured. At least 200 homes in Mopolveni were damaged. Meanwhile, the Department of Education issued a statement calling for school to send pupils who were not writing examinations to go home. Storm activity across Europe is on the up this week as three storms are forecasted to hit the Iberian Peninsula. Storm Bernardo is already impacting the Iberian Peninsula, triggering orange weather warnings for wind and rain. Forecasters are predicting Bernardo to be a high impact storm and will churn seas and thrash the western Mediterranean coast. Bernardo will also increase the risk of avalanches in Picos de Europe National Park in northern Spain. The Asturias Regional Weather Service warned of avalanches. Within a short period, a lot of new snow will fall on the snow already present. The amount of snow that is now in the mountains has now become considerable. This upstick in storm activity across Europe follows storm Emily last week, which brought torrential rain, strong winds and flash flooding. Emily left 1,40,000 people without power across Spain, Italy and France when it at the beginning of the November. Train lines were disrupted after more than 50 trees littered tracks in France and in Mallorca. In Italy, families in village of Sesta Godano were evacuated after heavy rain flooded the Vara River. Now, Storm Bernardo has caused the State Meteorological Agency to issue alerts of off wind, waves, rain or snow across 17 areas. Winds will feel strong to very strong in Menorca, strong in the Canary Islands and with strong intervals in Galician coast, Cantabera area, peninsular northeast, Elmira, Melilla and the rest of Belric Islands. Gusts of 49 miles per hour are likely across much of Spain and accumulated rainfall of 1.9 inches. Following this, a larger and more persistent storm will steep in across the peninsula in what will be large mass of cold air. It will be accompanied by several secondary storms which have the potential to grow in size and strength and be named Sicilia and Daniel, the third and fourth storms of the season. Sicilia may be short-term storm but Daniel is forecast to follow soon after. The most intense snowfall will likely be in the Canterbury mountains and Pyrenees. These storms are likely to impact the peninsula from Thursday through to the weekend. There will be persistent rainfall and weather agencies are keeping a close eye on the developing storms. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News, Nandine Hirani. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe our channel.